Hey guys, this is Mr. DeLeon9999 coming at you from the LBK, meaning Lubbock, Texas, guys. You know, earlier I did a, a video on an entry for a contest for a good friend of mine, uh, number one, Mula. And uh, I showcase, so can't even talk today. <coughs> I need another Corona. <laughs> anyway, I showcased my AK 47. That's a video I did yesterday, and that was before um, I changed the, the stock on my AK-47. This is a different stock from the video that you seen uh, earlier today. This is the stock that you seen on the AK. I refinished this stock when I bought my AK some time ago. I refinished this in uh, at Midwax. This is not the finish I used for this stock. I used the Minwax um, gun stock. That's, that's the color I used for this. And it came out very well. I followed it with um, tongue oil and followed all the right procedures and everything. And It's a real good stock. You know, it's the Wasser 10 stock. You know, it's a little rough, as everybody knows. But the finish I put on it came out real good. You know, all that gloss is just the. Uh, I believe the five layers of the tongue oil I, I placed on it after I gave it three coats of stain and it came out very well but it just wasn't what I wanted I wanted a, a Russian stock so some time ago several months ago I ordered a Russian stock from um, this website that screwed me pretty bad so um, this stock originally was blonde it wasn't Russian red like you see right here. The finish you see on this um, gun gun stock right here on this AK-47 came from um, Russia. This was actually on a Russian AK-47, and uh, the finish I used was a Midwax Sedona red. That's what I used on this wood right here, and um, as you can see got the little grip right there on the bottom that the Wasser 10 grip does not have and that's what I was looking for and I gave this about three coats for the front and about four coats in the back so that it could all even out and um, this camera is not doing it justice guys because um, this wood came out very very well I'm very proud of it <sighs> As you can see the difference between this, you know, and a good shot of the green here compared to that. It looks almost the same there, but it's really the light's not doing it justice. I don't have enough light here as I would like. But uh hopefully that comes out. But you got beautiful grain right there. That's beautiful grain right there. It just comes out perfect, guys. And I'm I'm pretty satisfied. You know, other than the fact that uh, they sent me, uh, what happened was they sent me the front two grips in Russian red, plus another set, which is these two, and the rear blonde, which I refinished with a Sedona red, and they sent me this plastic pistol grip, and my original order was to have uh, one set, all wood, Russian red. So... This is what I got guys. I just made um, lemonade out of lemons, I guess you could say. And I'm pretty happy with it. Another shot of that green here. Hopefully this is coming out great. I still got to drill my screws. I have not drilled them yet. But this um, stock fits very well, very snug. But I am going to drill and um, my pilot holes and put in the two screws right now I just have it together just for demonstration but uh, I'm pretty happy with it guys I'm pretty happy Mr. D is happy with his AK his Wasser 10 looks a step up from a Wasser 10 you know so it ain't no Lancaster but it, it looks a step up I'll tell you that much guys but I just want to do this quick video. This video is for my friend, Okie John. How you doing, brother? Hey, what's up?
he celebrated a birthday last night happy birthday to you John uh, next year I'm coming over brother we're gonna cook some steaks it's gonna be on me alright so this is the video guys I just want to share an update of my AK-47 thank you for your uh, your friendship that I received here on YouTube very much I thank you I'm just very blessed um, I'm honored I'm humbled you know to be accepted by the gun community here on YouTube you guys rock appreciate you guys you take care and as always here's a last look at the Wasser 10 stock which I am going to keep I may trade it I may sell it I don't know and I may come across another Wasser 10 with some real bad stock and I can always put this one on it I don't know what I'm going to do with it I'm just going to keep it who knows but this is Mr. DeLeon 9999 thanking each and every one of you for subbing my channel taking the time to watch my videos and as always from West Texas guys Cheers and I'm out.